Hey, what's going on guys and welcome back to another video. Uh, in this video I'm going to show you a few, a few different ways of generating seamless textures in Cinema 4D. As you know, working with seamless textures gives you a power of uh, having nice textures without any seams. Uh, but sometimes, you know, creating your own is hard. And if you want to get a nice textures online, they usually cost money. Uh, so in this video I'm going to try to show you a couple different ways you can uh, create your own and uh, download some for free. Uh, so the, the first and the most easiest way is to uh, go to Google or any any uh, search engine that you like and just type in seamless textures and you get all kinds of results as you can see and most of them will work fine just for you. But if you're looking for anything specific, uh, you're not going to find you know seamless texture for uh, like for example rock or wood. Uh, so it's not you know 100% reliable. Uh, so the next method, uh, what you can do is uh, find a texture online that you like. Uh, for example, you do rock texture, and try to find you know uh, a rock texture that's uh, you know high resolution or uh, has at least thousand or two thousand pixels. Uh, so if you go to your tools, click on size, you go larger than, and for example, you do uh, 4 MP. And looking at all these rocks, uh, for example, you found uh, this one, and you really like this one, or you know, for example, you found maybe this one, and, and you want to use this one in your project. Uh, first, what you can do is uh, is save it. So let, let me just uh, wait for for it to finish so it loads up. So save it to wherever you want to save it to. Uh, so I'm gonna save it to uh, the folder where this chair was. And uh, this chair I downloaded online, it's not mine, but I'm going to just show you an example. So, and now you can uh, open up your uh, Photoshop. And uh, let's create a document. So, File New. You can create any texture you want, any size. So, if you want to do 4K, you, you would just type uh, 4096, 4096, and then click Create. If you want to do 2K, you would do 2048. 2048 and click OK or click Create. Now uh, let's uh, open up that texture and uh, drop it inside the Photoshop file. So let me go to my desktop, find that texture here, rock wall, drop it inside. As you can see, it's a little bit smaller. So let's enlarge it and make sure it fills fills up the whole canvas. Uh, so the first step, let me just delete this background layer, you know I need it. Uh, so the first step is to crop all the extra stuff uh, around your texture. Uh, so go to your crop tool and uh, just remember what the size is of your document. So before I was doing 1K, so I had 1024, uh, but in this case it's 2K, so it's going to be 2048 and 2048 again. And then click enter. Or click a little, this little check mark here, and let's see if it's gone. And it's gone. Let me just rasterize this layer as well. And to just to double check, well, it didn't do it. Let me do it again. And let's check again. Yeah, now it's gone. Make sure uh, nothing is uh, floating around your texture that you're creating. Uh, so make sure you crop off all the extra uh, stuff around the texture so you just have perfect, uh, perfectly filled canvas. And from here what you're going to do is click filter and go to other and do offset. And how this works, as you can see I already had it set up, uh, but if you're working with 2000 resolution texture, you would just divide it by 2. So I had 2048, uh, in this case I would do 1024, 1024 and click OK and you will get this result. If you're doing 4K, you would just do 2048, 2048, and then we'll divide it by two. And uh, what this um, offset does is takes the four corners of the image and inverts them uh, to the center point, and you get this seamless texture. Uh, but now, uh, with this rock, it's not gonna be that easy uh, to fix all these seams. Uh, so if you have a few different tools, obviously you have your clone tool that you can use, you know, sample, Sample your rock from here and try to uh, get a nice uh, seamless texture and fix all the seams manually like this. Try to blend it in as much as possible. Let 
If you have a more uniform texture, obviously it's going to be way easier. But if you don't, then you have to go in there and uh, try to fix your uh, uh, texture manually. So in this case, uh, you can you can imagine you have to spend quite quite of some time of uh, fixing your texture and make sure it's seamless. But if you have anything uh, better, you know, uniform, it should do the job just fine. You would just invert it and then uh, try to uh, play with the healing tools, spot healing tools, uh, your patterns, and uh, see the, if you can get any nice result. So for example, let me try to fix this seam here. Actually, it's doing a pretty nice job, I'm not gonna lie. But it's getting rid of uh, all these uh, little uh, cracks in the rock. Or the separations, so it's not gonna, it's not gonna be the best option. But sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. For this rock, it'll be a lot of manual work, and you'll have to uh, come in and uh, fix a lot of this stuff manually. For example, like this. And right now, uh, if you use this inside Cinema 4E, for example, if I save this, go back to my armchair and save this rock seamless and save it as for example PNG click OK and now if I go back to Cinema 4D and uh, let's try to load up that rock and see how that looks rock seamless and let's take a look so as you can see the seams are not as bad uh, because I didn't fix all of the seams, uh, but it's actually not, not a bad import. It doesn't look that bad. And you can always play around with different uh, projection. So let's try cubic. Yeah, that looks pretty good. You just have one, yeah, one or two seams in the back of the chair, and the, that's about it. But if you fix all the seams in Photoshop, it's going to be perfect. You're not going to see any seams. And also, if you have uh, you know, better UVs, this chair doesn't have great UVs, uh, so it's a little bit difficult. Uh, so that's the second way. Uh, it's using Photoshop and uh, using uh, this offset tool. You go back. Using the offset tool to fix uh, your uh, texture and then generate your textures here. Uh, the third way uh, is obviously using another program, which is... Uh, a bit, bitmap to material. If you have this program, it's really nice of uh, generating different seams in this program. Uh, so the first thing you want to do is load up your image and let's do the output size to, for example, 2K. And let's load up the same uh, rock that we had before and see what kind of results we can get inside this program. So let's load it up. It's thinking right now. Now let's zoom in here, spin around. As you can see, we're getting a nice seam here. So we definitely have to fix that. And I'm working on a laptop, so it's kind of slow. Uh, but the main option that you have here, if you go to your global settings, uh, you have your uh, make it tile option. So right now it's off. So let's try uh, maybe, maybe this first option here and see what happens. It's thinking right now, and there you go. You pretty much got rid of uh, all the seams. Uh, this is really slow. Let me try to change it to uh, plain. Oh, there you go. Oh, now it's way faster. Okay, good. So as you can see, if uh, we get a lot of little bit of smudges here, but we can um, play around with options uh, like tiling size and tiling precision. So if you drag these options around. You can get a really nice result and then obviously from here you can uh, export it and uh, get a nice texture uh, from from this program which is bitmap to material really nice program really powerful uh, if you have it use it if not you can go back uh, to using Photoshop and it's really lagging out my computer uh, but this is another option really nice program and then from here you would just go you know export as bitmap let me just undo all of these. So we don't want roughness, we don't want metallic, we don't want normal height. I just want the base color. So I can bring it back to um, Cinema 4D and see how that looks. 
So let's export this uh, bitmap and let's uncheck all of them and then check only uh, base color. And uh, for the file, let's do PNG again and let's save it to the same spot, armchair, click open. And for the name, let's do um, rock seamless number two. And let's export. You just have to wait a second. And there you go, uh, rock number two is exported. So let's go back to uh, Cinema 4D and see how that one looks compared to Photoshop. So this one's Photoshop and it's, it's not bad. You know, you have a few different seams in the back, uh, but it's still not perfect because I, I didn't spend much time in Photoshop or fixing the texture. But obviously you can spend, you know, pretty good amount of time and get a nice result. Uh, so let's replace this texture with, the, with number two. So we have rock seamless number two, and this one's for, uh, from uh, bitmap to material. Let's load this up. As you can see, guys, really nice. We're still getting two uh, nasty seams in the back, uh, but when it comes to front of the texture, it looks pretty good. A few, a few visible seams, but it's not as bad as, uh, as before. And like I said, the UVs on this uh, chair are not the best, uh, so let's try. Let's try UV map, see how that looks. Yeah, not bad, pretty good, but still. But hopefully you get an idea and you learn something that, you know, bitmap to material, a really nice program, you can get really nice results. And not only you get a seamless textures out of it, you get, you know, your gloss maps, your uh, buff maps, and all kinds of other maps too. Uh, so that's always useful as well. Uh, so the fourth method of uh, creating seamless textures is uh, actually a plugin that comes with Photoshop and it's called um, let's see oh yeah FX box and if I play this for script to this video you can see how this works if I make a full screen let me just go back and play the video as you can see you increase uh, what I did before you increase the size of your texture and then you have this tile option and it pretty much uh, fills and does all the work for you and there you go you have your seamless texture using this plugin uh, so if you want to use this plugin for Photoshop you can download it it's a free plugin and uh, you can use this one as well but in my case I usually use um, a bitmap to material or uh, other programs or maybe using the Photoshop and uh, it works fine for me uh, but these are your four different options. Uh, hopefully you guys learned something from this video. As always, thank you for watching. Uh, please subscribe to my channel and uh, have a nice day, guys. Goodbye.